Good afternoon, everybody. Today we have our 1996 2506 trophy. This boat is being sold without a motor on it. Here's the gel coat. It does have a fresh coat of bottom paint on it. Gel coat shows well. For the year, shine came right back. Boat it comes with a T top, very big T top with a canvas top, ladders to go up to the top. It has a small fish tower that mounts on the top of that, um, on the top of the bimini, not the bimini, but you know, the T top. So I, we do have that. It's an extension, and there is a little metal platform on the top of that for you to stand on. Bow pulpit off the front. It comes with a dual axle venture trailer, 7,000 pound trailer. Boat shows pretty well for a uh, 1996. The gel coat really isn't, had, did come back when we buffed and waxed it really well. Windless anchor off the front. I'm going to walk through the boats here and into the boat. does have an integrated swim platform off of it. It will come with the hydraulic steering right there. This is a Mercury Optimax that's on the back that will be removed before the final sale. So you can repower it with a Mercury or go back with a different motor. Big wide 25 foot boat. I mean uh, this has a nice beam on it. Off the back here, storage on both sides. Here's access to the bilge. Hydraulic trim pumps, dual batteries with a switch. There's also access below on both sides. There's a seat, a bench seat that goes in, on the, uh, mounts on the back of the uh, transom here. They were redone about two years ago, so they're in good shape. Boat has a raw water wash down and a live well. Two huge fish boxes on both sides, as well as a self bailing cockpit. Non skid throughout the entire boat. Mo tons of rod holders on this boat. I think there's nine, one, two, four. Yeah, nine that I see. Oh, and then the ones on the back of the leaning post. Does have rod, you know, they're integrated rod holders, brass rod holders on the uh, T top. It's more like a hard top than it is a T top because it goes the whole width of the boat. Leaning posts with a cushion in good shape. This cushion is in just as good a shape as the back bed seat. That's what they look like. has an a, a Boss Marine AM FM radio, very loud system for the center console that it is. Hydraulic trim tab controls here, standard gauge instrumentation, nothing fancy. This Lowrance unit was purchased last year, an HDS7 GPS fish finder and sonar. That's new as of last, uh, the beginning of this season actually. There's a ton of room on this boat, guys. Great little fishing boat. And it's definitely double as your uh, day out on the water. Bench, front to back seat here on the front of the console. Sewer side seat, as they call it. Huge storage inside the center console in the middle of the boat. Some people put a head in there, porta potty for. Emergencies or just keep all your fishing gear in there guys Nice step up onto the bow here for additional fishing area um, These open up for 
more insulated coolers, more storage. This is a great repower option because this boat definitely has offshore capabilities for as wide and as big as it is. I'm going to try to show you. Here's the platform on top of the T-top and then the leaning post mounts on these four corners on both sides. So. Uh, really don't use that too much in the Chesapeake Bay, but if uh, you go out in the ocean or if you want to ship this boat down to Florida, well, that would be great. Alright guys, give us a call at 410-391-2333. Remember at M&M Boats, we sell boats for less, guarantee. Visit us on Facebook or our website at mmboatsplural.com. Thanks for watching guys.